In this video, we are demonstrating how to refurbish the iPhone XS broken screen. Hope you enjoy our sharing. Hello everyone. Today, we are introducing what tools to use and how to refurbish iPhone XS broken screen. We need a filler gauge, cover glass, frame, band nose pliers, hip turn, 513 cleaners. Today, we are going to refurbish a broken iPhone XS sent from our customer. First of all, test the touch function, Wi-Fi, earpiece function, and face ID and see whether they work properly. All functions work properly. Prepare to disassemble the screen and refurbish. Unscrew the balance screws. Then let the iPhone on the heating separator for screen separation. Use a knife blade to insert and hold the screen gap. Then add a appropriate amount of heat turn in between to remove the glue. Disassemble the screen. Clean off with 513 cleaner. Take the screen small part off. Use the filler gauge to scrap and separate the frame glue. Put the screen on the heating separator for heating. During the heating, you can use the back of your hand to feel the screen temperature. Disassemble the frame when you feel the temperature gets hot. Add some hip turn. Using band nose plier to open the gap at the frame. Add more heat turn. Gently push the frame out by the band out plier. Push the frame upward properly during halfway to prevent secondary damage on the screen touch layer or the LCD. Repeat the movement until the frame is completely separated from the screen. Use the knife blade to clean the adhesive on the separation part. For an easy separation, attach a layer of clear sticky type on the screen. Put the screen on the heating separator again to heat. Carefully separate the cover glass with the cutting wire. The cover glass has now been separated from the LCD screen. Use the electric glue remover to remove the OCA tap. Use heat tin to remove the remaining OCA tap. Try not to use 513 cleaner to remove the OCA tap here, as it would cause malfunction of touching. After glue cleaning, Use the iPhone XS alignment mode to align the display screen with OCA tab as well as a new cover glass. Put the mode in the laminating machine to laminate. After the lamination, take off the screen assembly. Assemble and test the laminated screen. All function works properly. Prepare to debubble.
put the screen assembly in the debubbling machine to debubble. The whole debubbling process will take about 10 minutes, depending on the lamination result. Debubbling completed. Take out the display assembly. Debubbling result is good. Prepare to install the frame. Apply the frame adhesive and align the frame with LCD screen. Clean off with 513 cleaner. Lay the screen assembly in the lamination mode for around 15 minutes. Take off the screen assembly when the lamination is completed. Clean off with 513 cleaner. Install the small parts. Reassemble and test. Test the touch function, Wi Fi, earpiece function, and face ID and see whether they work properly. All work properly, screen refurbished completed.